Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to start a cozy mystery reading vlog. I haven't honestly read that many cozy mystery series. I started one. I have only two books in, but I do have the third book. I started another and only the first two books are out. I've read things like the Maid by Nita Prose and I don't know there's a few others that I would consider like cozy but I want to start a new series. This is the Camper and Criminals Cozy Mystery Series by Tanya Capes and I'm just so excited because some of my friends like Lauren and Caitlin have really enjoyed it and I bought this um, because I was just really in the mood for it. It's like a summer cozy mystery series or at least like the first book is and then I think as the you know series progresses it goes into other seasons obviously and then I saw this um dual pack sorry I'm tumbling books here I saw the second and the third books available on Pango as like a bundle and it was like you know a really good price and they're brand new so I was like I just need to read them so yeah I'm gonna be reading Beaches Bungalows and Burglaries the first book then I will move on to Deserts and Driving no Deserts Driving and Derelicts which is book number two and then Forest fishing and forgery which is book number three and what I love about this cozy mystery series is it is about camping and I love camping also all of the books have recipes in the back so that's super fun <laughs> All right, friends, I am flying through Beaches, Bungalows, and Burglaries. I am already on page 97, so about halfway, I'm assuming. But at the end, there is like a section about hacks and recipes, and there's like a whole bunch of, there's like a note from the author, and then there's a whole bunch of books that the author wrote so the ending is kind of going to be coming up very very quickly and i'm really really enjoying this story although the main character isn't sleuthing so much but it's super cozy and i love the small town vibes in this so at the beginning of the novel you follow may west as she her husband um was doing the ponzi scheme if you don't know what that is it's basically where you get a whole bunch of people to invest but then like your new investor pays your old invest like the old investor it's like a pyramid type scheme thing anyway um he was sent to prison and the fbi um what's it called took all of his assets uh i don't know what that word is i'm trying to think of but anyway seized seized all of his assets homes cars money all of that and the only thing that Mae West has left is this campground that I guess he bought a long time ago. I don't know if it was like a joke or a prank or what, but he bought this campground and he has this camper and it's all under his wife Mae West's name. So her car is gone, all of her money is gone. You know, she doesn't have anywhere else to go um, except for this campground um, in Normal, Kentucky. So she goes to Normal, Kentucky and she has this like little brochure that her lawyer gave her and it made it look like a really cute like escapism place. So she was really excited to go there, but she gets there and this place Place is run down it is like a derelict um, and she's like no problem I'm gonna fix everything up and then she meets the cutest little group of women that um, wash their clothes at this laundry mat and they have like a book club and I'm like oh, I love it and it's such a small town vibe thing anyway they're like yeah we can do like a fundraiser or we can get businesses to donate things to help fix up the campground and you can have like a grand reopening because her plan is to sell it but 
I'm assuming she doesn't end up selling it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so she's in the process of doing that. And that's mainly what the story is about. Um, it's just her coming there, people being pissed off about what her husband did because some of the people that he did this to live in normal Kentucky. Some live at the campground. Um, but anyway, so she's going around the lake and she's standing on this dock talking about what needs to be done. The dock ends up breaking and then these like cops or FBI agents pull up and they're like, um, your husband escaped prison. And she's like, ex-husband. And I'm like, yes. Um, and then they find him floating in the lake. Um, and she is the prime suspect because like, why else would he go to the campground type thing? And she's like, I didn't have anything to do with it and all of that so trying to find out who killed her husband also just fix up this campground and I'm loving it but it's going very very quickly so the next time I check in with you I will share my full thoughts and rating and then we will be moving on to book number two okay you guys I finished beaches bungalows and burglaries the first book in the camper and criminals cozy mystery series and I'm gonna rate this book four out of five stars I really liked it it was short but it just just felt like it had everything that it needed and it didn't put in a lot of fluff and since it is such a long series I'm sure I'm gonna get to know characters from this book as we continue in the series like get to know them better um, I really don't have any more like plot points to say um, I like how we ended up I wasn't really trying to figure out the who done it or anything like that but I like that the first little murder was solved and it was a reasonable, also, if you can hear that, it's thundering outside. So that's what that noise is. But anyway, I like that it had like a good reasoning behind it, if that makes sense. And I like where it ended off on the end. Um, it, it wasn't a cliffhanger, but it just made me really, really excited to jump into the next book. Um, and I just, I love the cover. And in the back, it had some kind of like camping hacks um, about like keeping away the critters, um, duct tape, which although that duct tape was kind of lame, um, and then it had a, like it, I said, it has some recipes um, and a grout cleaner recipe, which I thought was interesting. Um, but the Preacher's Wife Pineapple Casserole, it sounds really, really good. So I'm going to see, I think I might have everything needed to make this. <laughs> I have started Deserts Driving and Derelicts, the second book in the Campers and Criminals Cozy Mystery series. I am starting chapter nine, page 72. So I'm almost halfway and I am enjoying it. But I have noticed in Cozy Mystery series that I do tend to like the second book a little bit less than the first one because I think the first one kind of like comes in with a bang you know you're setting up your amateur sleuth where they're gonna like where the majority of the series is gonna take place um, setting up the initial set of characters and then you have your first like murder or mystery to solve so yeah I really liked beaches bungalows and burglaries but about the halfway mark I was absolutely like loving it and in this one I'm about halfway and it's just okay Okay, you know um, but that was also the same feeling that I had with it takes two to mango and something squava give the trouble in paradise series so this one I really really liked and this one I liked a little bit less and then the same thing goes for the mystery bookshop um, mystery series the plot is murder I absolutely loved this and then red herring hunt I actually liked a little bit less so this series is by VM Burns and I love this series and I definitely want to continue on in this series and I'm definitely 
and I'm definitely going to want to continue on in this series. I'm still fairly new to cozy mystery series, not necessarily like cozy mysteries, like standalones, but definitely series. And I'm really excited to like read more series, continue in these series and all of that. But just from the very few that I have read, I have found that the second isn't as exciting um, because you know most of the characters, um, everything is kind of set up. So now you're just like, okay, what's next? What are they doing in this book? In this one, it starts off with me being interviewed for this magazine, National Parks Magazine about the success of the campground after she renovated it. And um, she is helping her friends from the laundromat club, um, which I think is, it's such a unique thing that it's like a book club at a laundromat, but it has like puzzles and games and coffee and they like go there to hang out. I just love it. Um, I love the small town vibes. I love the campground setting. Um, but one of her friends asks like if she knows anybody that can help her clean some houses because that's what she does. And um, May says, sure, I'll help. And then she goes to clean this one woman's house. And then um, she ends up going back to pick up a check. And uh, the her dogs the woman's house that she cleaned her dog had a nanny and that nanny is murdered. Um, so that's, you know, who we're dealing with Camille's murder and who would kill a nanny to a dog and why and all of that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're dealing with in this one. And I am enjoying it just not as much as the first book. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I am with that. Um, I am currently on page chapter 11, page 94, and I should finish it fairly soon. I got the mail and I got my book of the month package. So I thought I could open that up with you guys. So here is my book of the month box. Way to slay. Congrats on completing the shelf slayer reading challenge. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Oh my gosh. It's like a bookmark. I love that. It's like a sword. And it says book of the month on it. Yeah. So cool. So yeah, let me put that back in there. That is so cool. Yeah, I think that's really cool. And I also got these magnets, genre exploring magnets. Um, so the first one says a historic moment. I'm not reading. The second one says contemporary fiction is so right now. The next one says the husband did it. And the last one says cynic in the streets, romance on the on the sheets, book of the month. So yeah, that's really, really cool. And then of course the book that I got, Daisy Darker, one of my most anticipated books of the year. Read like your TBR is watching. No kidding. So free bookmark. Um, a million copy bestselling queen of twists returns with a family reunion that leads to murder. Yes, and it is in Agatha Christie, and then there were none retelling, which <laughs> I still need to read the original. But yeah, that's what I got in my box. Very excited about all of that. Charlie. <laughs> got drink, snack, book, phone, good to go. All right, final update for 
Desert Driving and Derelicts, the second book in the Camper and Criminals Cozy Mystery series. I'm going to rate this book three out of five stars, which is really not a surprise to me because I think I'm going to really just enjoy the entire series. And I think there's going to be ones that I like more than others. I definitely enjoyed the first book more than this one. This one was just kind of like, you know, I liked it, but nothing really stood out to me. I didn't particularly like the mystery or like murder that happened and stuff like that um, but it was okay and it was surprising I never try to figure out cozy mysteries I just kind of go into them and I'm along for the ride I'm more there for the vibes than anything else and I really did enjoy the vibes in here um, I love the laundry club or what is how would they call them so I think it's just the laundry club I cannot get over <laughs> The friends that she made so fast in this new town and it's like she's been there forever now um and how everybody is like so nice that's what i love about small towns so three out of five stars for this one and unfortunately i only have one more book in my possession but this one is almost like double the length of the first two books um so I am very, very excited about that. All right, friends, I'm gonna give you a reading update for Forests, Fishing, and Forgery. Um, I started it earlier this afternoon. I am currently on page 84, so I've already made a pretty good dent. Um, I think I'm gonna pop up some popcorn and put some M&Ms in it and have a snack and read some more because um, my husband and his buddy are hanging out and I have like uninterrupted time. So it sounds like the perfect time to dive back into my book. Also, I don't have any shows on tonight, so no plans for the rest of the night. Sounds like reading's happening. <laughs> Great news friends, I finished this book and my suspicions were correct. I enjoyed this one just as much as the first one. It introduced more businesses and more like permanent residents of the town where Mae West has made her new home, Normal, Kentucky. And it's just like this small town and there's all of these like small businesses with these really like cute names. Like I think the place where you get your nails done is called Cute Ecoles. And there's like this cookie shop and I don't know. I just, I really, really enjoyed this one. I also got to see like things that were happening at the campground, things that were happening in town, and some people that I was not expecting to die had died in this one. So yeah, I was really shocked by that, and then I was really shocked by the who done it. I think in all of them, I haven't really tried to figure out who done it. I've just been along for the ride. So I'm going to rate this third book, Forests, Fishing, and Forgery by Tanya K us four stars and I am like I said I've been saying since the very beginning I'm very excited to continue on this book took place like right around Labor Day so it's fall and they're talking about like pumpkin spice lattes and um, donuts 
and like fall leaves and I don't know also just like the love triangle in here really is like a big part of the book and I love that as someone that like loves romance books as well but I think I have a direction that it's gonna go in here and then I'm trying to be spoiler free obviously for like the whole series and but there's definitely like more that happens in this book like I said this is the biggest one it was like double the size of these so like almost these two equaled it's hard it's hard to show you guys but almost these two books equaled this book um but I will say that sorry the books just hit you guys um but I will say that the um hacks and the um recipes in the back of this one were lacking a little bit so they did have a laundry day hack um but i think the other one had a campfire breakfast scramble in it or something similar um so let's look what that one was called this one was called foil breakfast pack yeah this one was called foil breakfast pack and this one is called campfire breakfast scramble but they are kind of very very similar but the grab a bag of doritos um is very similar to the tortilla fire making hack in that um they do have the shrimp foil pack summer supper which can't do that chocolate banana boats and foil which they didn't even really do that in this book I wish it was directly recipes that were in the books and I think maybe they're trying to do too many recipes too many hacks in the back of these but if they did like one hack and one recipe per book because I don't imagine someone going out and reading the third book without reading the second book I mean are there people out there that read cozy mysteries out of order yes but I would say more people read them in order than out of order what do you guys think anyway um and then sage is the perfect bug repellent that was in the second one um so I think that maybe they need to calm it down on the recipes and the hacks especially if they're like running out of things to share or they're going to be sharing the same things back to back like maybe if that was in the 20th one the 20th book in the series because yeah there's like I think in September the like 26th or 27th book in this series comes out so I definitely have a lot of books to read but I'm just so invested in the town the characters may what's gonna happen with the love triangle although I think I know which direction it's going on um, at the end of this one um, and yeah I'm just I'm interested in all of the things so and the covers are so cute and they read very quickly so in this reading vlog I read the first three books starting with beaches bungalows and burglaries I rated this one four out of five stars then I moved on to deserts driving and derelicts and rated this one three out of five stars and then I just finished reading this one and rated it four out of five stars so if you're looking for a cozy mystery mystery series to start I would highly recommend this one if you haven't already picked it up and if you have already picked this up oh also in this one they were kind of saying like it was getting cooler you know snow is on the way winter is on the way and I was like I know I need to have the fourth book anyway so if you have read this series let me know down in the comments down below let me know if you've read it in order out of order and also what your favorite book is in the series so far but yeah I'm just really excited to continue on in this series like once I have more of the books um, but yeah I would say this was really successful and I wanted to say thank you guys so much for joining me I know I'm in this like cozy mystery kick and this is not probably what you guys come to my channel for but I have to mood read what I'm excited about and I was really excited about this series so yeah I hope you enjoyed I hope you loved hanging out with me a little bit um, but yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night and I'll see you guys again in another video very soon bye guys